shaming. Body shaming is the act of mocking a person's physical appearance. Okay, and uh, we all know that in our culture in India, uh, who's body shamed? Both boys and girls, both men and women. But comparatively, more women. You know, there is a gender bias. More women are being body shamed for their weight, body shape, or for their skin, for their complexion, skin color, or for their hair. whatever so there is a mild gender bias there too so uh there the common forms of body shaming is you know being fat or overweight people are called moti kali when you're not fair you're dark skinned or you're brown skinned um there are you know i don't know if i should use these words but then you know there are boys who are slightly effeminate who may not uh, typically fit into the picture of a tall dark handsome boy they are often called names like mikey in asmis i have heard people say that you know in colleges so that is also body shaming girls who do not typically fit in the pic uh, in the picture of the image of a uh, slim slender tall you know lahis wali they are called tomboyish that's also body shaming they called mota and all that so uh, there are people who are uh, neither boys nor girls you know they are transgender people so they are called names because of how their body because their body is not very typical of a man or a woman or of, of a boy or a girl they are repeatedly body shamed i have come across a lot of um, such transgender people who have attempted suicide and a few successful suicides also i know uh, because of severe body shaming repeated body shaming and uh, body shaming can be about or boys it's like you know who do not have sufficient hair who start balding at the age of 20 18 because genetically the, his father was also had less hair so he started losing hair by the time he was 18 years old so his friends start bullying him for losing excessive hair and for not having sufficient hair hair so baldness is one reason why boys are body shamed similarly body weight excessive body weight petla is another way of body shaming boys there are thousands of ways millions of ways how you can be body shamed the basic the bottom line is that you are being shamed for possessing that body or for for having that feature on your body so you start hating yourself for having that uh, you know, skin complexion or for that weight or for that nose of yours which does not look good it's ugly etc etc now uh we have to understand that there is a deep seated cultural and social conditioning when it comes to body shaming we have to understand that there are gender stereotypes there are social norms there are social even stereotypes in the society which are considered normal and desirable when we discuss body shaming now uh, for example in india till a few years back you know girls who were slim and fair were considered more marriageable more desirable for a marriage than a girl who was slightly overweight or uh, you know had a darker complexion because there are homes where you know they have a brown skin girl and parents say ek biyadi hote okubidha hobo how will i get her married because you know she is dark complexion or she is overweight there are girls who go to the gym today to lose weight before they get married because otherwise they will not have the probab the probabilities of finding a good groom or a good match for themselves is very low why because of their weight because of their complexion so uh, these kind of things are deep seated in our society this is how the concept of beauty the concept concept of desirability has been constructed over the years body shaming is not a new thing in our society it is just that previously uh, because of uh, you know the how the social structure work was we used to live in joint families so teasing someone because he was underweight or overweight or dark or fair perhaps the sensitivity sometimes was not so high in the other person in the child but nowadays uh, children are getting more sensitive so far when it comes to body shaming issues now uh, there are social and cultural stereotypes like i told you and we also have to look at uh some of the films some of the books that children read the fairy tale books who's a fairy a fairy is fair skinned slim long hair and is considered beautiful and who's a witch the witch is you know dark skinned red hair has you know teeth which protrudes out of the mouth etc so we have those kind of uh you know books fairy tale books and films disney disney films also which talk about fat people being evil 
which talk about slim fair girls being beautiful and good so we are basically without even realizing what we are doing we are instilling those kind of thoughts in the minds of our young children that perhaps it is like this and it is not the truth it is just an imagination so we have to do away with those cultural and social condition you have to unlearn those beliefs false beliefs and we'll have to do away with those gender stereotypes before we can actually address body shaming well the concept of being masculine or being feminine itself is a cultural construct so those things we have to undo before we can move ahead now what happens because of severe you know body shaming sometimes yes like uh, the vice principal sir said that he was not even affected when he was body shamed at his own place at his own in the own in his own family which was joined it seems and where he was repeatedly being body shamed for uh, for being thin too thin now the shame part was not there they were just teasing but there was no intention of hurting him so perhaps that is one of the reason why he was not hurt or why a lot of people who grow up in families where people you know children tease each other maybe as poli or maybe as moti are, are not affected but when we are talking about body shaming we are the, the word shame is important to be understood we are actually trying to shame the other person for having possessing such a body now here what happens because of body shaming suicide due to body shaming is a fourth leading cause of death across the world in 15 to 19 year olds body shaming leads to it is understandable it leads to uh, decreased self esteem and decreased self worth it leads to anxiety mostly social anxiety girls who have been body shamed a lot boys who have been body shamed a lot come to my clinic for social anxiety disorder when they go to social situations they are constantly aware of the fact that people are watching them people are not liking the way they look when they are facing an interview they come and tell me i couldn't focus on my interview because the interviewer will not listen to my answers and not look at my intellect would rather look at my dark skin and think how how can one be so dark this person will not get the job so body shaming leads to a lot of social anxiety a lot of undue awareness about one's appearance it leads to other anxiety disorders like generalized anxiety disorder specific phobias also phobia of you know uh, phobia of uh, i would say social situations sometimes phobia of certain professions where you could be judged okay some uh, teenagers come to me and then they tell me that uh, uh, ma'am do something to make me taller well if the teenager is below 14 or below 13 years of age there is still a chance i ask them to have nutritious food i suggest them a list of foods and i also tell them to get into a form of physical exercise which will actually help them help their knee cartilage get stimulated maybe play badminton or do skipping which will help them gain a few inches provided they are in that age group but if a teenager comes to me and after 17 years of age and tells me that i need to grow taller now that is not possible now when i ask them the reason why they tell me that they have been body shamed by different people by their peers by their families by their um, anyone in the society uh, for being short now when i ask them why is it upsetting you so much it's okay there are people who are shorter than you there are people who are taller than them, than you and very tall people are also being body shamed and the person tells me when well, i want to become a model i want to become an actress and with this height i cannot become one then i explain to them that okay today's current requirements of being a model or being an actress could be this that you need to be of this minimum height but you have other options too where you can actually work and show reach your truest potential and it is this kind of counseling where we call it insight oriented counseling which helps them a lot sometimes of course medications are also required if they have comorbid anxiety and depressive disorders eating disorders can also be an outcome of body shaming people who are over overweight they start dieting they go on a diet and they become they suffer from something called anorexia nervosa they lose a lot of weight the skin wrinkles uh, menstruation stops the breast gets shrunken etc now these issues of body shaming becomes even more important during the teenage years because it is during this teenage years during adolescence that these uh, both boys and girls are going through a transition their bodies are changing 
they do not have those children's bodies that they had once upon a time. Now they're for girls, the breasts are growing, pubic hair is growing, uh, her thighs are getting broader, For she has started menstruating, for boys her, his voice is changing, beard is growing, etc. So since there's a lot of physical changes during this period in life, they are already going through a lot of emotional changes, physical changes and on top of that if there is body shaming, it becomes too much to handle.